Hello guys and welcome. In this video I'm gonna show you 10 Rust commands that you didn't know. We're gonna start off by a simple bind which is auto walk. It is bind key forward semicolon sprint. It will get activated by clicking O and it will start running. You can hold the mouse to change the direction. You can stop that by clicking W. The next bind we have is bind key attack semicolon duck, which is simply auto attack plus auto duck command. You can change the direction using the mouse. You can stop that by clicking control and mouse one. The next command we have is gonna make you jump higher. For example, I'm trying to jump on this TC, and it's not that easy. But what we're gonna do is, we're gonna type steps space 60. And that's gonna make me jump on the TC very easy. Using this command, you can make really hard jumps. Next, we have a command, look radius. So, for example, from this point, I cannot open the TC, but if I change look radius to 0.4, I will be able to open the TC. That's the default mode, and that's the 0.4, the increased radius. I can open the TC, access it, and take whatever I want. Default mode. Next, we have an auto crouch command. For example, I'm trying to jump on this. So, you can do input.autocrouch true. That's gonna enable auto crouch. Whenever your head hits a ceiling, it's gonna automatically crouch, allowing you to jump. Another command is perf6, will allow you to see your FPS, your Bing, your RAM usage, and such. If you have been playing for so long and the game is lagging or you have FPS drop, try this command global.free. This command will clear any old RAM usage, which will increase your FPS slightly. My FPS hasn't changed much because I've just loaded the game. Here is another bind. This bind will allow you to zoom in while running. You can bind it to N and M, and you can zoom. For example, if you are running, and you want to zoom, you don't want to hold your, your, your gun because holding your gun will slow you down. So you just click N and M. Of course, you can change the keys. Let's move to the ocean. So, one command is graphics.waves this command will completely turn off your waves another bind to see underwater is water quality 0 semicolon waves f and water quality 1 graphics waves f so by spamming those two keys for me it's 0 and 9 I will be able to see under the water and if you do this many times, your game will, will start to kind of freeze at some point so you can see more underwater. I'm gonna spawn an NPC to test this. So I have a dead NPC in the water now. From here, there is no way I can see it. I can't see anything, but with this glitch, I can completely see. Not only that, if someone is diving under the water, you can easily kill him with this glitch. You can see bodies and confirm death. One more command was added recently is show blood zero. This command will allow you to hide the blood from the screen 
and the low HP effect. So when you are low HP, you won't see the, the red effect. You will still get a white warning that you're getting a hit from a direction. But it's not gonna stay like the low HP effect.